Listed shares comes for 12 months. Unlisted comes for 24 months. For debenture, we don't consider indexation. Sale of goodwill of a profession, which is self-generated asset, is chargeable to tax. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. We are discussing session 6, unit 1 of your income tax 2. And your unit 1, it is nothing but capital gains. Now, almost we have done with your capital gains. This is your unit 1. And in this, we have completed 2 sessions for theory and complete 4 sessions for practical. Each session, we are discussing minimum two problems and the last session we will discuss only one but we'll understand all kinds of concept in your capital gain. Now, the agenda is very simple, problems on capital gain. Once I done with this session, I'll give you important points, whatever we have discussed in the last six session, please make a note. Why? Because while doing capital gain, you should remember these points. Now. Problem number six, compute taxable capital gain. I'll go slowly because it is the last problem you should understand each and every concept. Now, compute taxable capital gain of Mr. Syed, resident for the assessment year 2020 and 2021. Now, sale price of shares of Lotus Limited. Now, unlisted. Lotus Limited comes under unlisted shares. Now, acquired on 1-6-2018 and sold 1-4-2019. Unlisted comes under what? Good. It comes under 24 months. If it is a listed one, listed shares comes for 12 months. Unlisted comes for 24 months. Now, in this, Sale price of shares of Lotus Limited unlisted acquired on 1-6-2018 and sold on 1-4-2019 for rupees 3,15,000. Now, cost price of these shares are rupees 1,5,000. What is the cost price of this 1,5,000? Now, Sale price, this is the first one, we'll go one by one. First we'll complete first one, later we'll go for second one. Unlisted one, which one, what you have to remember? 24 months, about 24 months, long term, below 24 months, short term. Now, bought on 18 and sold on 19. Within one, one and a half year, it goes to short term. Now, rupees 3,15,000, cost price of this share is 1,5. Selling price, purchase price, 3,15,000 minus 1,5,000, your problem is done. If it is a short term, it is easy, no indexation, nothing, easy to calculate. As per your answer, shares, 3,15,000 is your cost. Let's transfer price. What is the transfer price? Any commission paid to the agent, any transaction charges are paid. All comes under transfer price. Net sale consideration, 3,15,000. 3,15,000 minus zero, it will be considered as 3,15,000. So then your cost of acquisition will be 1,5. What is your cost of acquisition? 1,5. So 3,15,000 minus 1,5, you will get 2,10,000. Uh, what is your uh, number? The number will be 2,10,000 after deducting all this. Simple, no adjustment, nothing. First one is completed. First one is done. We'll go for the second one in this. Sale price of shares of Mayuri Limited, unlisted. Unlisted means what? First thing should come to your mind, 24 months. If you are holding that particular share for more than 24 months, we consider as long term. If the same unlisted shares holding for less than 24 months, we call it as short term. Hope you are clear. Good. 
Sale price of share Mayuri Limited unlisted acquired in 2009 and 2010. What is the indexation number? 148. Now, sold on 112 19. What is the indexation? 289. What is the price? 5 lakh 20 thousand cost price. Of these shares are 75,000. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, We'll go for this. It was purchased on 910 and sold on 19. So it will be what? Short term or long term? Long term. What is the year? It is more than two years. So we should consider it as a long term. Indexation? Yes, it will apply. Now, as per this, yes, your shares, long term capital gain? Yes. Sale consideration? 5 lakh 20,000. What is the transfer price? Nil. Your answer is 5,20,000. Now, sale consideration is done. Less index cost of acquisition. Index cost of acquisition, if you go with the calculation, 75,000 multiplied with 289 divided by 148. What will be your answer? Your answer is 1,46,453. Four fifty three. Now, from five lakh twenty thousand, if you minus one lakh forty six, your final answer will be three lakh seventy three five forty seven. Again, I'll repeat: three lakh seventy three five forty seven is your answer. Now, we done up to this unlisted one, so we calculated. I'll go for the third one. First one is completed. Yes. Second one, yes. Come to the third one. Now, sale price of jewelry. Jewelry is movable or immobile? Movable. What is the time period? Three years, 36 months. If it is a movable, then it is 36 months. Now, sold on 18. Cost of jewelry, 5, 6. Now, 5, 6 means what? 5 and 6, it is almost long term from there to here jewelry you cannot sold for 18 it must be 19 only why because your assessment year itself 2021 all the sales of 19 only we should consider now i'll go to the answer jewelry so 2005 it was purchased and 2019 it is sold Clear? So, we can't sell before 19. Why? Because all the problems you are doing for 19 and 20. Now, sale consideration is 6 lakh. Done. Is there any commission paid? No. It is nil. Your indexation cost of acquisition, 6 lakh. Now, you have to find out your cost of acquisition, cost of purchase. How to calculate? I'll show you. Now, on jewelry was acquired on 2005 and 6 for the price of 60,000. What was the indexation? 117. Time of purchase, whatever indexation number has given, always should be down. Always should be down. Sale of listed debenture on 1 to 2020 for 2,30,000. These were purchased on 1 1 2006 for. 1,85,000. Now, so again, debenture comes under what 36 months slab, but should we calculate the indexation for debenture? What will be your answer? Should we calculate? The answer is no. You are not supposed to calculate indexation for your debenture. You are not supposed to calculate indexation for debenture. Now, if you can't calculate indexation, then what we have to do? Simple calculation 2,30,000 minus 1,85, you have to go for final one. 2,30 minus 1,85, you have to go for final, like 2,30,000 minus 1,85, your answer is 45,000. That will be considered as your indexation hope you are clear yes so there is no indexation always remember for debenture we don't consider indexation now so debenture comes under 
normal scheme. Now, so when it is implemented in 1998, from there onwards, they have implemented that there is no indexation on debenture valuation. Now, so later we have done with your shares and Mayuri, Jewelry, Listed Debenture, last one, Goodwill. Goodwill of a profession, self-generated asset is sold for 175,000. Fair market value 14,001 is rupees 10,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Goodwill of your profession self-generated is sold for 1,75,000 and fair market value, value is 10,000. Anything happened before 2001, around 2001, we should consider fair market value. What is a self-generated asset and 175 is the selling and fair market value will be 10. We'll go for the answer. Goodwill. Sale of goodwill of a profession which is self-generated asset is chargeable to tax 1,75. Now, so what was the value actually? 1,75. It is a self-generated. They have not purchased from anybody. That's why we don't consider this. Why? Because it is self generated why because it is self generated hope you are clear yes now so i'll go back to all these slides please take screenshot so this is your agenda your problem number six your solution part solution again your solution part yes so this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood and you are completely clear with the concept called your capital gains. Under capital gains, as I told you, few things I wanted to inform or suggest you. Now, capital gain, all, please go for first two sessions so that you will understand all the theory concept. What is capital asset types? and the percentage percentage will not mention anywhere but please remember what are the percentage for long term as well as short term which are considered as above 36 months which are below 36 months and which are 24 12 all this calculation remember now again there are listed and unlisted find out that and one more is debentures in case of debenture never go for any calculation of indexation so you can go but normally it is wrong because from 98 onwards the indexation calculation for debenture cancelled so if index uh, debenture is given take selling price take acquisition from selling price minus acquisition is your answer don't calculate indexation for debenture now other than that rest of the things you know clearly do it properly if it is wdb then what we are supposed to do it is always short term whichever is less if it is a fair value whichever is higher and if it is anything purchased before 2001 then it is always 2001 only these things keep it in mind any number of problems you can easily work out and Along with this, also remember the sections comes under 54 till 54 GC. All these sections I have explained you in the session 2. Please work out everything. So with this, I'll conclude your topic called capital gain. Thank you.